Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. In my previous visit, a pump like this went bad, the seal went bad and started flooding the room, which is right here. As you can see, the pump is gone and today we're going to be installing it. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We are in a commercial boiler room and we have these pumps. In my previous visit, the seal went bad on this exact pump motor and started flooding the room. It was an absolute disaster. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Another day, another nightmare. Here's the location of where that pump was located. As you can see, it is disconnected, hanging with rope and some straps up top. We're gonna be installing the new one. This is actually the exact pump that was there and we had it rebuilt. They have four of these pumps in this setup along with this heat exchanger. Anyways, I started to look at this one. I mean, that looks terrible, but you see that? The seal went bad on this one too. As you can see that there's water there. So where the shaft from the motor meets the pump itself there's a leak in there and eventually this is going to flood the room just like the other one i'm going to have to make a note of that and this one's going to have to be replaced too and these are very very expensive here are the original nuts and bolts for these fittings they are so gunked up it was very difficult to take them out what i'm going to do is start my day by cleaning those up cleaning up the threads so we can get this back on properly and make this job a bit smoother so let's go ahead and grab those and get this started these threads are so bad we're going to use this bench grinder to clean it up so we can put it back on easily and hopefully they come off a little easier next time and hopefully you know we don't got to change this pump anytime soon Cleaning the fitting here with a wire brush. There's a bunch of gunk that built up on there. We want a flat surface for the gasket. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Just slide this over straight, just like that. Watch your head. Take one side, I've got the other. Okay. Slide it, slide it, slide it. Pull, pull. All right. To really muscle this through. Arrow facing this way. All right, you know what? I'm gonna have to just muscle it through here. Watch out. Watch your head and everything. get this out the way. Be my eye, man. This side goes there. Got it. That's gonna come in through the middle here. All right. Hold on, hold on, there's a wire. Gotcha. And I get it in through here, it's gonna sit right here. Yep. This thing is crazy heavy. Dude, watch your hand, man. Bring it down. Your hand is where it's supposed to go down. All right, good. There we go. All right. Thank you. Let's keep it there for a sec. All right. All right. I got this. Let's go get some, uh, get a pair of snips. Gotcha. Gotta take this off. Gonna take this off. 
and we're gonna line everything up. Take off your side. This is the new gasket here. We're gonna get that in place and run the bolts through also. I can take off this rope and stuff. Do one side at one side at a time. You're gonna slide you're gonna slide this carefully on me. Remember, use the bottom, use this as leverage. I'm talking about the kind off on the bottom. Slide the pump. So push it to me slowly. Alright, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get the gasket lined up. I can put a bolt through. Get the next one. That should hold that together. All right, bring the pump. All right, hold on. Yeah, right there. Just balance that out. Let's get these nuts on. We've got four nuts and bolts for each one. Hopefully it goes on a bit smoother this time. This has to be even, you see? Yeah. Has to be even when you put it together. I got that a bit evened out. Yes, my socket set is gone. It was stolen. So we're doing this caveman style. Oh, watch out. Just get that. That looks pretty good. All right, you can let go now. That's gonna hold. That looks pretty even. I like that. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up. Underneath here, we have some support. We have some threads. So we're gonna tie in this rod. Make sure we get that in there right. Use this washer and then tighten up the nut. And we're gonna do four of those. We're gonna get that going and kind of get that in place. This has to be lined up properly for this to work. All right, we got those on there. They're just hand tight, so we have a little bit of leverage. This right here looks nice and clean compared to what it was before. I'll show you guys a picture. It was really corroded. Taking off all the ropes and stuff that's holding up that pipe. And we're gonna connect the other side. Hold this pipe up. Just be very okay. careful. I got the gasket on. We're gonna go this way. Here we go. All right. Hold it there for a sec. Yep. It's not even, we're gonna have to even it out. This one doesn't go in through there. All right, you see where it's, you see the pipe is lower than the pump? Yes. You're gonna lift the, you gotta lift this up a little. And then we'll adjust it. I lift the pipe up as much as you can. And try to center it. It's kind of off. Let's see what we can do. I got it kind of tight. All right, let me see. Okay. Let go. The holes line up. It looks decent, but we're gonna have to adjust that a bit to get these nuts and bolts in there. see what we can do all right that goes in there now all right evened it out a bit let's tighten these up and see what we can do this two on top are hard to get yeah okay let's see what we could do with this set up on there have to force this one through somewhere on that thread it's not good I don't have nuts and bolts like this all right this is gonna take forever two thousand years later all right that looks pretty good that's on there nice and tight same for this one over here we have supply and return lines that we got to connect and put the gauges on like this this one's gonna go on this side, and then we gotta get that one on there. 
I don't know why they left that one on. There's like some gunk that they put there. I don't know, but I'm not messing with that one. Let's go ahead and get those on and we can open up the water. Unfortunately, we got another service call. One of these boilers are down. I took a quick look at it and the pump motor separated from the pump. And that thing just cracked open. So we're gonna have to figure something out after this place is a mess right now. Got some Teflon tape on here. That honestly should do it. Let's just spin that on and finish up with these water connections. And yeah, I'm just wondering, let's see, where will be the best place to keep it? I think towards this way, so they can see it from that angle. Who's really gonna be climbing where I'm at? Close that. Oh, let's tighten that up. Right there. Leave that open. Let's do the other one. And let's finish up with this one. Alright guys, let's open up the water loop. This is just circulating through here. It's really these two. All right, there's water on the line. I heard it fill up. So where does this go? Boy, is that tight. All right, water lines are open. Everything's looking good so far. Let's keep an eye on this. And from here, we're gonna have to wire it. This is 208 volts, three phase. These wires are a bit short. All right, we got no leaks here. That's a beautiful thing. Let's get this off and get to the electrical, wire this up. Saturday, overtime. And unfortunately, this is the situation that we're in. Can I get that out of there? Might need to get the stubby. Yeah, let's get to the electrical. It's over there and let's see what happens. Here we have our electrical connections. Let's get to them. All right, let's strip these back. Let's make our connections. This is three phase, 208. You pretty much put the wires anywhere, but you gotta make sure the rotation is correct. Follow the arrow on the motor and the pump. And from there, we'll watch the shaft. All right, let's do it. All right wire this up and we're gonna turn on the power and test rotation if the rotation is good we're gonna close it up here we got the starters turn that on and on hand on, uh, going this way. it's going the other way yeah all right like that when that happens you swap any two leads so Swap any two leads for three phase. And then we're gonna test again, and that should change the rotation. Key note that everybody should know. All right, we're gonna test it again. We should be good now. Put on hand for now. All right. Yep. This way. All right, it's going that way. And that is the direction of the motor. And also the direction of the pump right there, there's an arrow. All right, guys, that right there is a beautiful thing. No leaks, you got a pressure difference, even though I don't think those gauges are reading properly. Everything's wired right. We got the right rotation. We got heat in and out, and these people are gonna get pressure and heat 
to wherever this goes and I believe this is from the basement to the second floor and works in junction with these two boilers there's one more pump here that I shut off last time that I'm gonna need to turn on I'm gonna need to turn on circulator pump number one here we have another breaker panel circulator pumps one and two thankfully it's labeled turn that back on and we're good to go all right I can hear this one running that's great everything is good here that's a beautiful thing and we're gonna wrap it up but we just noticed something this thing was leaking some water yep right there there's a little bit of water on the floor here see that like that little drip it's this heat exchanger the heat exchanger is leaking you can see it in a little crevice here so something inside here is leaking it's not any of this piping it's the heat exchanger itself man after all that work and we got some more and we have another service call right now for one of those boilers which i already took a quick look at it that thing the pump separated from the motor and it's cracked Oh man, there's a lot of work to do in this place. Well, I guess we'll be busy for the next forever. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up from here. We got more service calls to do, but if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.